Hey, this is a pretty important article for you Medicare beneficiaries that are trying to decide whether you're wanting to look into your health coverage for Medicare Advantage or traditional Medicare. And so uh, this article is May 2nd, 2022, Government Watchdog Healthcare Giants Improperly Denied Medicare Benefits. Many of the same companies are huge players in Ohio Medicaid and they're, they're taking a sample of denials from uh, a certain time period. So I'm going to read a little bit more. The healthcare companies offering Medicare Advantage plans improperly denied services and payments at what might seem an alarming rate during a one-week test period in 2019, according to government report released last week. Uh, the companies, many of which are also major players in the Ohio Medicaid system, improperly denied payment 18% of the time and they incorrectly denied approval for certain medical procedures 13% of the time. The report by the Inspector General of the United States Department of Health and Human Services, and that report is this right here, uh, and it's done by the HHS. Uh, some Medicare Advantage organization denials of prior authorization requests raise concerns about beneficiary access to medically necessary care. Okay, so in response, an industry group representing insurance giants such as Aetna, United Healthcare, uh, Humana claimed making healthcare mistakes one sixth or one eighth of the time isn't so bad. The Inspector General's report found nearly that nearly 9 in 10 prior authorization coverage denials were consistent with Medicare coverage rules and more than 8 to in 10 denials for payment requests met Medicare billing rules. The, the Better Medicare Alliance said in the statement, moreover, the Inspector General found that Medicare Advantage plans approve uh, the vast majority of prior authorization requests and provider payment requests. Uh, in conducting the test, the Inspector General set out to determine whether the companies, some of which are among the nation's biggest, were effectively denying coverage in violation of rules set down by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS. In traditional Medicare, older Americans pay premiums to the government, which covers most of the cost of inpatient outpatient services, but since the 1970s, private plans working with Medicare have been available. Now known as Medicare Advantage, the plans are paid a per member per month rate by the government to coordinate patient care by creating networks of providers and paying them. The idea initially was to give the private companies an incentives to achieve savings through things like negotiating with uh, providers to lower their costs, but the Kaiser Family Foundation in, in 2019 reported that over the past decades, Medicare payment policy for plans have shifted from one uh, that produced savings to one that focused more on expanding access to private plans and providing extra benefits to Medicare private plan enrollees across the um, across the country. And then let's take a look at that here. So more than one third of Medicare population now opt for Medicare Advantage. The private plan alternative to traditional Medicare, also known as original Medicare, and enrollment may continue to rise. The author discussed the impl implications of growing enrollment in private plans on the Medicare program. And so back to the main article here. And beneficiaries are now flooding into the Medicare Advantage plans. They, they're they more than double from 12 million in 2011 to 26 million in 2021. Last week's Inspector General's report said, and as as they have concerns about the company's practicing practices have arisen. In 2017, the Government Accountability Office found that Medicare Advantage plans overbilled the government by $16 billion a year uh, earlier, and the watchdog group, uh, the Center for Public Integrity report, 
that federal officials have had persistent problems overseeing the massive insurers. To spot check the companies, the Health and Human Services Inspector General selected the week of June 1st through 7th, 2019 and randomly randomly selected 500 denials by the 15 largest Medicare Advantage providers. The denials fell into two categories. One had to do with prior authorization services that services the plan has to sign off on ahead of time. In denying a prior authorization, the plan is saying it won't cover a procedure. The other 250 denials the inspector general randomly picked were refused payments to providers such as doctors. So not only the beneficiary, but the doctors. Um, there's a delay of payment. Uh, experts on healthcare coding as well as doctors reviewing the denials and determined that 13% of the denied prior authorizations were wrong. Uh, we identified two common causes of these denials. The Inspector General, uh, General's report said, first, the Medicare Advantage Company used clinical uh, criteria that are not contained in the Medicare coverage rules, uh, requiring an x-ray before uh, appro approving more advanced imaging, uh, which led them to deny requests for services that our physician reviewers determined were medically necessary. The report rec recommends better federal guidance to avoid such problems in the future. But is uh, but there is still a question of whether the companies are denying services and payments to grow their profits. The US Justice Department in 2017 joined a whistleblower lawsuit against United Health claiming that its Medicare Advantage plan overbilled the government by $1 billion. The department abandoned most of its claims after the federal judge dismissed parts of the suit. Some of the companies the Inspector General spot checked in the Medicare Advantage investigations have big business and, and controversies in Ohio. Subsidiaries of CVS Health and uh, United Health the nation's fourth and fifth largest corporations uh, handled Medicaid pharmacy benefits in 2017. A state investigation the following year found that they charged taxpayers $224 million more for drugs than they paid the pharmacies that dispensed them. The state is also suing United Health during middleman uh, United Health's drug middleman on claims that it defrauded the Bureau of Workers' Compensation of $16 million. And Centene, the eighth largest Medicare Advantage provider, last year agreed to pay Ohio $88.3 million to settle fraud claims with the Ohio Department of Medicaid and more than $1 billion to settle similar claims with 21 other states. Despite the lawsuits and controversies, the Medicaid Department last year selected all three companies to receive contracts of more than one billion e each. Mary Beth uh, Donahue, president and CEO of, of the Better Medicare Alliance, in a in a response to the Inspector General's report, said that her organization supports simplifying the prior authorization process. While this study represents only a narrow sample of Medicare Advantage uh, beneficiaries, and polling data shows that less than half of Medicare Advantage beneficiaries have ever experienced a prior authorization themselves. Better Medicare Alliance has strongly supported efforts to streamline and simplify the prior authorization process for patients and providers. Okay, so let me know your thoughts on uh, not only this, uh, this article, but also know your experiences on your Medicare journey, whether you're brand new to Medicare or you've been on a Medicare Advantage plan, have you experienced uh, denial of uh, coverage, or if you're a provider, denial of uh, uh, claims payment, or if you have experienced prior authorization process in your Medicare journey. Thanks so much for watching.